Factsverse presents Scammer tells man he won $1.2 million and he turns the table on the scammer. Sounds like there could be a great lesson in this one we could all use, so before we get into the video, help us out by spreading the word of Facts First by clicking the like button. And also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. If you do, you'll win $1.2 million! Unfortunately, online scammers are everywhere, and today, when everybody's plugged into their laptops, smartphones, iPads, tablets, it's almost impossible to avoid getting anything from a scammer. Online scammers, they're really good at what they do, unfortunately. That's why some people fall for the scams and lose hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Tom Sheeran was contacted by an online scammer, and he decided to turn the tables on them. Tom lives in Liverpool, England, where he works as a nursing assistant at the Mercy Care NHS Foundation Trust. On July 22, 2018, he received a message on Facebook Messenger from somebody who claimed to be Michael Austin. And according to the message, the CEO of Facebook asked him to contact Tom about some important information regarding his account. Well, Tom didn't believe what Mr. Austin was saying, but he decided he'd go along and just play along with it for a while, you know, for fun. When Mr. Austin explained that he was authorized to contact him to pass on vital information, all Tom said was, oh, right. And Mr. Austin asked him if he was informed by the staff of his winnings. Tom replied that no, nobody had, but he was waiting for a call any minute. Mr. Austin then apologized for the late announcement. Tom says that he decided to have some fun with the scammer, and for starters, he planned to keep him busy for as long as possible. Mr. Austin told Tom that he was randomly selected to win $1.2 million along with a brand new Jeep. He told him all he had to do was to follow the rules and regulations, and they even sent Tom a picture of a box full of cash. Well, it must be legit then. Next, the scammer sent him this official declaration of winnings. Tom told him that he wanted the prize money, but he had to think about his hookers and their dental bills. He thought that this comment would probably put an end to the scam, but nope, the scammer kept coming back. He told Tom the money would be delivered right to his front door. Tom asked if he wasn't home if FedEx would leave the package with a neighbor. He said that he does a lot of charity work with local prostitutes, but didn't want to miss out on money that could replace plenty of missing teeth. The scammer didn't see anything wrong with what Tom was saying, and he asked Tom for his home address, phone number, and email address. Tom responded by asking if he needed the home address of his prostitutes as well. Tom gave some fake information to make the scammer think that he was going along with the scam. The scammer asked him how old he was and if he was ready to claim his winnings. Soon the scammer began showing his true colors. He claimed that it was up to Tom to pay the money that it would cost FedEx to deliver his winnings. Well, when Tom threatened to call FedEx to confirm the package delivery, the scammer explained that if he did, his pride would be rescinded. He was also told that if he told anybody about the prize, that he would forfeit it. Well, that really got Tom going, and he told the scammer that he didn't know why it had to be a secret and he had already informed the local newspaper about winning. He said he was going to be doing an interview for the 7 p.m. TV news, and he even ordered a new car. Well, the scammer was getting angry with Tom but tried to keep his composure. When Tom said he only had $30, the scammer suggested that he take out a loan. He even sent the scammer a picture that his son drew and then says that he's only 17. Finally, the scammer realized that he was being scammed and the communication stopped. Thanks to Tom, that was one less scammer on the hunt, at least for a few hours. Scammers get people all the time, and Tom decided that he would turn the tables and scam the scammer. You know, if more people scammed the scammers, maybe they'd be too busy to scam people who really would fall for those scams. Maybe they'd quit and actually get real jobs. Nah. Subscribe for more.